Thank you so much. <clears throat> I don't know if uh, what we are all doing is being outdated so far, so we have to do it in a museum. Uh, but <laughs> <clears throat> or it is just a wonderful place to be. It's a very beautiful room, so uh, and thank you for inviting me. Um, <clears throat> as mentioned, um, I came up with this idea for Be My Eyes in 2012. No, I need to tell that uh, I am myself visually impaired. I have a tunnel vision, uh, where you have 180 degree vision, I have a five degree vision. So if I meet you tomorrow and I don't say hi, uh, it's just because I haven't seen you. Uh, <clears throat> Um, if you want to tweet about this, you're welcome. Um, we use Twitter a lot to uh, spread the knowledge about Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes is an app. It's an iPhone app, and it is an app where we make a live video connection between a blind person's iPhone and a sighted volunteer's iPhone. And you can say, why not just use Skype or FaceTime to do this? Because that's pretty much the same. But if you use Skype or FaceTime, you have to call someone. With Be My Eyes, you as a blind person, you can hit one button, and then you will be connected to a volunteer, and you don't have to bother your friends or your neighbors or anyone. You can just you can kind of ask for help without asking really, uh, because uh, those people who have signed up for buying Be My Eyes to be a volunteer, they want to help you. The design of Be My Eyes is super super simple. Uh, we had a lot of ideas uh, that we could put into the app. But during the, the process, we ended up with only one button. <laughs> and, <clears throat> and I think that's uh, part of the reason why I, I got the Jacob Nielsen uh, prize. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> the bad thing about getting the prize is that whatever we do, it will be less accessible. Uh, because if we add one more button, we are only half as accessible as we are now. <clears throat> so it's kind of going the wrong direction. But I'm very proud that uh, Hele uh, was uh, giving me this, this award. And um, <clears throat> I have been on stage with the English uh, little sister. Denmark is a very small country. Uh, <clears throat> so <laughs> um, but in the design, our way to, to one button was also uh, making uh, interviews and uh, videotape interviews uh, with blind people signing into our prototype. A really scary experience, uh, <clears throat> because you, you think you have thought of everything, and then you realize that you uh, hardly started. Um, and it is uh, really a wake-up call to have not your friends, but strangers starting to uh, use your prototype, and, uh, and we learned a whole lot from that. The, the first... Uh, what are we now? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> the, um, the picture before is uh, what is on the blind person's side, and even they can't see it, we, we, we try to make it uh, nice. Uh, and um, on the, the volunteer side, uh, we have also tried to make it uh, super, super simple. You cannot really do anything uh, except waiting, uh, and there's a lot of waiting. Um, <clears throat> I'll come back to that. But we have made it uh, super easy so that you can see how many persons you have helped and how many points you have, uh, and that's basically it. We launched... Uh, now, uh, in this, uh, the latest thing that we have done, and uh, I really wish we had done this before, is implementing a mixed panel. Uh, I'm not paid to say this, but mixed panel does a whole lot for us to, to realize what 
our customers are doing and when and how long and, and all that sort of things. Uh, and that's really uh, important uh, for us to know. Um, <clears throat> it is super simple, and, and, um, and it is, uh, for the volunteers, it is uh, also uh, convenient to be a volunteer because what we do, when the blind person wants help, they just push the button, and then we send out a notification to the first available uh, helper uh, speaking the same language and pretty much in the same uh, time zone. And if you are at a conference and you don't have time to, to answer the call, after 10 seconds, we just ping another one, and we do that until someone answers. And usually, it, it's within uh, between half a minute and, and uh, a minute, then the blind person will have someone answering their call. Uh, so it's uh, super convenient to be a volunteer. Uh, and I'm super proud of this prize that I got. Uh, <clears throat> and now I want to show you a video that this is what's really going on. Was that started? Yeah. Oh, can we turn down the music? So uh, this is a call uh, where the person is, uh, is it moving? Oh. Can you turn again? No? I'm doing it all wrong here. Mm -hmm. No? Well, <coughs> it doesn't matter. <coughs> What happened is that the, the blind person is uh, filming some sort of food and asking uh, when, what it is, and uh, the, the volunteer is uh, saying, uh, please move the camera a little bit to the left and a little bit closer, and please turn the package around so I can see what's on the other side. And then they have a little talk about what, what's happening, and then uh, they, very much, they very often end up asking where are you, uh, because very often it is someone from the US helping someone in Australia or uh, something like that, and that's kind of funny, and people love that. We launched on the 15th of January 2015, and we were lucky to be um, exposed in media, in tremendous amount of me media. Uh, I spent the, from the 15th of January and, and the two, three months uh, from uh, that, I was giving uh, like um, 100 plus 100 interviews, and my CEO did uh, at least the same amount. Uh, so we, we have been uh, pretty much uh, all over the place. The most funny experience was uh, me uh, in half an hour in a live Russian radio show. I don't speak Russian, <clears throat> so we have to translate back and forward. And uh, blind people from Russia could call in and ask me questions. Uh, so, so there was a lot of uh, translation back and forward. Uh, maybe the longest half hour I have experienced. Uh, <coughs> but. What really matters for me uh, is that I was also interviewed by Malmö Tolltidning, uh, which is a, a newspaper for blind people, and that's uh, where I want to be. Uh, we use uh, Twitter a lot to, um, to promote, and also Facebook, of course. Uh, this is a tweet from where we were in uh, CBS Evening News. And um, the, that was on the 4th of July, and, and uh, that was a super exciting uh, for us. And you can see um, the, the first uh, height is when we started in, in January. Uh, the second little one, there, that is on the 4th of July. So it does mean something to be featured in uh, the major news. And <coughs> Super surprising to us, after the 4th of July, uh, someone in Turkey picked up the story, and we, were, we didn't know at all. We were on the national media in Turkey, and suddenly Turkey was our second biggest country. We had uh, almost 50,000 downloads within July. 
I think we had uh, five or something uh, prior to that. <coughs> so <laughs> it is, uh, and we were super surprised. And um, and then you start getting um, uh, tweets in uh, some uh, funny uh, languages. <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about uh, Google Translate because I want to know if they want to uh, sue me or they want to uh, say it's a great idea. <coughs> so, <coughs> and uh, we also get some uh, nice and funny uh, feedback from our, uh, both our <laughs> uh, customers and, and our uh, uh, users. Uh, not customers, the users and the volunteers, we call them. And. Um <coughs> So whenever I have a bad day, I just read some tweets. Uh, <coughs> I had the luxury of meeting up with uh, Stevie Wonder at some place. Uh, he is, uh, I didn't manage to recruit him as our ambassador, but uh, he thinks it's, it's a great idea. And um, the big vision about Be My Eyes is that we can uh, provide every blind person in this world with be my eyes, and so that we can uh, be guided by uh, Be My Eyes, so we can hand over our white cane to all of you guys who does not pay attention when you are walking around texting on your phone. <coughs> so, <coughs> no. The, <laughs> the real thing is that 90% of the blind people in this world, they live in places like Africa and India, because you don't get treated for uh, diseases that you, uh, where you uh, become blind, as you do uh, in the West. And you can say, will they ever have an iPhone? Um, we think they will, because now we are two billion people online, but within uh, five or something years, we will be another three billion people who is online. And a lot of those people will uh, not a lot of them, but some of them will be uh, blind people as well. And when uh, Mark Zuckerberg and, and uh, Elon Musk and whoever uh, has uh, done their thing about getting internet access to everyone, uh, we can actually help people. Will they be able to afford it? Uh, I think so, because this is the curb of the price to be uh, online. And uh, so, I think it will be possible to do that. And this is our current. Um, we, we now have uh, 341,000 volunteers. So there's a lot of good people out there. We are badly in need of more blind people. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Since uh, January last year, I have received uh, over 20,000 emails, and a lot of those emails, we use MailChimp, uh, a lot of those emails are uh, <coughs> uh, from people who are disappointed about not getting any calls, uh, so I have to reply to them. Uh, we have 25, 26, I believe, I said, uh, thousand blind people uh, across uh, 140 uh, different countries. Uh, some of the, the number 140 countries, there might be only one download, but still, we count them. Uh, <coughs> um, and we are uh, connecting people in 80 different languages. So it has uh, spread dramatically, and uh, we are still trying to, to improve, and uh, it is a free app. How am I on time? Pardon? Two minutes, okay, thank you. Um, so we, we really dream about being able to help uh, blind people all over the world. And, and we, we think that, because the, the phone that you need to be able to use, be my eyes, is an iPhone 4S. And uh, in a few years time, an iPhone 4S will be a cheap phone. Um, and uh, we will also develop to, to, uh, to Android. 
The reason why we didn't start with Android uh, is because Apple, and I'm not paid by Apple to say this, but Apple has made a tremendous job of making iPhones accessible to blind people. It is extremely well done, and uh, Android is getting there, but uh, not yet. Uh, and between you and me, I'm super happy we didn't start out with Android, because then I would maybe had uh, twice as many volunteers and not uh, more blind people. Uh, <coughs> so uh, so it's, it's kind of a, a luxury problem, you can say. And um, yeah, I am, um, if you didn't tweet about it before, you can still do it. Uh, <coughs> and um, yeah, it, it, this is a very short version. <laughs> I would like to, I would like to uh, just tell you a lot more. But um, this is my 20 minutes, so, uh, and I am open for questions afterwards, so uh, thank you.